Lincoln and I yesterday found something unexplainable in the woods. I don't think you can go because you got mad, but I can't, I can't even explain it. You just have to see it. But I found it yesterday in the woods. <sighs> Wait till you see this. This is wild. What's going on over here? Over here. What's going on here? Well, I like that shirt. Oh, you do? Let me you see the back. Not very many people know that reference. But the Smith family does. Yep. Yep, yep. These will be... I guess as soon as you take some pictures for me, we'll be on my site. Me? Yeah. I usually have an Ant-Man do it, but we could just have you do it. He's dancing. Are you dancing to a helicopter? That's <laughs> <laughs> random. Feel the beat, buddy? It's going to be a future soldier. We are just in your truck for the millionth time today, because this is what he does. Let me make sure he doesn't lock it. Yeah. He tends to lock it. What's that go? noise, buddy? Did you the horn? No. What is that? So we got um, stain on cabinets, and it's hard to go in there because the lacquer is so strong. Uh, but they've got steps. They cut steps for the stairs, the wood for the stairs, which is super, super cool. Um, it's not attached. Anyway, I don't think we're going to go in today. Okay. I might get a mask because I really want to go see. You want to see? Yeah. I just... just hold your bed. <gasps> Right in there, look around, go back out. We're second guessing our cabinet. Our cabinet. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and say that on the Smiths, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But we do this with every every time we build. This is what we do. This is what we do. We end up picking something different or we end up painting it, but it all works out. Hiya. Hiya. Lincoln and I yesterday found something unexplainable in the woods. I don't think you can go because you got mad, but I can't I can't even explain it. You just have to see it. But I found it yesterday in the woods. Let me walk that way right now. Uh, before I go over there, quick update pollinator garden it's coming along i i have this much to fill but i have other stuff in the ground and this stuff is gonna it's all gonna butt out and go crazy really soon hummingbirds are here they are here it just still blows me away that they go to mexico and then come back here but they are here we've got hummingbird food out and this is going to be for them that garden and then update on this garden the vegetable garden we have Still our little baby oak trees doing their thing. Nothing has popped out of these yet. And still have I've been so busy. I still haven't put anything out besides the cucumbers here, which are growing nicely. Our pest repellent growing nicely. Uh, bougainvillea, blackberries, everything. It's doing nice. Texas is just uh, so beautiful right now. I love April in Texas. Uh, it's just green and mild temperature. And hummingbirds are back. The flowers are just in bloom everywhere. I mean, even just in our yard, just where I'm standing, it's just like beautiful flowers. <laughs> uh, love this time of year. In fact, as I walk to the barn, I'll show you some blue bonnets. Watch this. Walk with me down this little path. Look over here. Look how green, y'all. You probably don't have perspective of where I am, but this is this is a place that I had cleared and used a skid steer and got rid of brush and cedar. And now it's just this beautiful field. Blue bonnets. Look at that. So nice. Blue bonnets smell so good too. Especially a field like this, just uh, smells so refreshing. It's kind of unfortunate that in about May, June, July, August, in about four months, I'm gonna be standing out here in 107 degrees and and, and dry. Um, let me see if I can show you something else here on the uh, Granger Smith horticulture uh, advice video. I'm just gonna look for these, in these blue bonnets. Yeah, here it is right here. So in these blue bonnets, this is their little seed sack. Right there and all of them, every plant will have a little seed sack if you look for it. And so that is what I want to protect. 
so the flower itself what i want before i mow or get the tractor out here a shred or anything i want to be able to let this seed sack fall there's another little one right there so i want to be able to let that seed sack fall so that it could then uh, reproduce itself and make more blue bonnets people have people that come over here they're like oh these flowers are so pretty do you plant these and i'm like no i, I don't i don't plant these it's these little seed sacks that i just let naturally fall before i cut the grass and that'll take a that'll take a few months for this whole flower within a couple three weeks or so will die and start falling down and wilting and then this will fall down with it and that is the gold that's what i want to keep and that's not why i'm, I'm not in the woods to show you guys this i came in the woods to show y'all something else wild okay so those, those of you all that have followed the smiths and you followed me living here for since 2020 three years now what's interesting is how many times have y'all seen me come back in these woods clearing brush that has fallen right it's it's like the ice storms multiple ice storms tornadoes seem to hit these these trees uh quicker than any other piece on my property i mean probably because their trees are so tall but wait till you see this this is wild i came in here the other day and i and i had this place pretty good like i finally there's been several times when i've gotten this place pretty good and i haven't had to clear out get the skid steer or get a tractor or drag things with the ranger until this okay so this tree fell from right here and i don't know when it fell um i was on tour and nothing else has fallen in here and there was a there's a smith's episode when amber and the kids got down in the tornado shelter because a tornado came through here it must have touched down right here now, i know that sounds crazy but that's my only explanation is the tornado must have formed and touched right here to knock this down let me show you why i think that you might be thinking i'm crazy wait till you see this i mean first of all here's here's where the initial fall was i mean this is massive guys massive this is the initial fall okay and it creates this is just normal ground creates a crater look at that i mean that's that's like a three foot deep crater but here's the crazy part look what it came off of look at this tree probably 300 years old and there there's where it fell there's no way i could do perspective that's my hand this tree is probably this oak tree it's a live oak it's probably stood like it like it was with this for 200 years uh, hang on a second let me put this camera down watch this watch this okay you see that perspective massive tree right look at look how this split you can see it starts right here and let loose falls here so i walk up and i'm like with lincoln i'm like how in the world is tree this is probably the biggest tree on our whole property how in the world did that break off and i'm looking at i'm looking around i'm seeing like this I mean, that's, that's probably 150 pounds. I see this, stuff like this. Look at that. I mean, it's like a saw did that, right? 
Look over here. I see this. Look at this. In the ground. Completely in the ground. You know the force it would have taken? Look at this guy. Look at this. <laughs> just, just jammed in the ground, right? And that, that is everywhere. Right? All the way into here. Here's, an, this, here's another piece, it's just like completely shaved. Over here, the stuff, the, the bark has blown off. In here, across the fence, I can see more of these, of this stuff. Just massive pieces, right? Once again, the perspective, that's the tree, over there. I, I don't even know, without just a massive, massive amounts of chainsawing, I have no other way to get this stuff out of here. Probably chainsaw and then drag it with the ranger. And then I came over here, hang on, I'm not done. I'm not done, you guys are helping me build evidence for my case. Still, I'm still walking over stuff like this. This, 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 everywhere. Look at this. I wish you could have perspective that's not with this camera. Look at this. This is the, this is the impact it made. That's like the crater. I mean, guys, this thing? No, I can't. There's no way. I can't even budge that. That's a thousand pounds. This oak, there's my foot on it. It's a thousand pounds. We are, that's the tree over there. It ends up here. Am I right? Somebody comment below. A tornado came to this property, touched down right there, hit that thing through that branch and just cycled every, just through everything. And yet, no other big trees were touched except for by these pieces. I probably haven't even found everything yet. But there's these pieces. Look at this one. Massive. Massive. I mean, once again, yeah, I mean, that's just, there's so much weight there. Here's a, uh, I was walking around Lincoln just looking at all this, like, Here's, here's on this tree where this piece must have come in. And you can see the direction that it's going. Just like a missile. Right there. And so it must have come in, hit here, and just shot like a missile this way. And here's another. The scarring on the trees is some of the the only evidence I have up here. So check that out. The scar from that. And we are all the way over there where the, the actual tree fell. I mean, that's wild stuff guys, right? Just perspective of, of what the power of God and, and the force of just a, I mean, a tornado is nothing to God. The, the force that it would take is tiny. And then for us humans to see this, I'm gonna try to get back in here so you could get a look at the force it would have taken. So inside this hole, Look, look at this. Look at this. The, the way that this ripped. We, 
we have no perspective on the power that, that would take in a wind. So look at these circles. For, to rip. I kind of feel like this is going to be a super boring episode because sometimes I get really excited about certain things that the rest of the world is not excited about. But I'm sitting here looking at this going, the, the sheer power, the force it takes to do this, to rip this straight off of an oak tree, to throw this all the way over here, to throw that clear all the way 50 feet. And this is nothing, like this is nothing to compare to some tornadoes that other people have seen. I'm gonna keep walking and see how far I can go with some damage. Here's, here's one right here. Look at that. I'm now 75 feet. Let's keep walking. There's another piece. There's another piece. Look at this. This is a big piece. And um, now I am... There it is right there. I'm 150 feet. And this is a block that's probably 60 pounds. Just, just like a missile. And look where it hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna discover this, guys, for months. I'll be walking through these woods months from now and go, that's another piece from that tornado. I keep saying tornado, correct me if I'm wrong, there's nothing else that could have done something like this. Yeah, I'll probably find stuff later, but anyway. Before this video gets too boring, a tornado hit my yard while we were here. A tornado touched down while we were here. And that is mind blowing. Dada. Dada. Yeah? What could, Dada. I, what could I do to help? Dada. Yeah? Dada. What, could I, what could I do to help the situation? Excuse me? You too? <laughs> oh, that's all we got. Say love you guys. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs>